guys, Kim here from CustomDollBaby.com. Occasionally, I get a question about how to pierce the ears on a doll. I've been piercing ears for years without a second thought, but when you Google it, you find all kinds of complicated procedures for, for piercing doll ears, from using a hot awl to getting a piercing gun. A piercing gun. I don't have any of that fancy equipment in my workshop, but I do have one tool that I know is very good at poking holes in vinyl, and that's a rooting needle. Welcome to my super quick, easy breezy ear piercing tutorial. Today's client is Sanaya. Sanaya is a reborn American girl, 18 inch size doll based on Annette from Seacrest. Piercing is the last thing I do before assembly, so her hair has been rooted and sealed, her eyelashes glued, her lips varnished, and everything's had time to dry. If you want your earrings to be permanent for safety reasons, as they are a choking hazard, you want to use the kind of earrings that have backs that screw on. I disclose that my earrings are a choking hazard and use ordinary studs that can be removed and swapped out by the collector. If your vinyl is tough, you may want to warm the head a little bit, no more than 100 degrees though. Higher temperatures will reactivate the adhesives and melt the eyelashes. I'm going to do this procedure on a cold head today because this vinyl is quite soft. I like to use a 38 gauge crown needle, one, because we all have them, they come in the starter kits. Two, they are smoother than needles with more barbs. You don't want to chew up the earlobe in the process. Most dolls are not sculpted with a detached earlobe, meaning the back of your earring will be inside the head. So carefully line up where you want your earrings, angle the needle so that the stud will lay flat against the earlobe, mark them with a pencil if you like, and gently press the needle through. If the hole is too small for your stud, you can stretch the hole with a larger needle, like a 42 gauge fork. Once satisfied with your hole, insert your stud. Note, this works best with straight back earrings. Fish hooks, lever backs, and other curvy earrings, French hooks, will be more challenging due to the amount of vinyl that you have to push through. If you can't get the earring in, widen your hole with a larger needle. For best results, you should have to fight it a little. You don't want the earrings to be loose and fall out. My piercings are snug, but not permanent. You might need some pliers to get the earrings out, but they can be removed and replaced with your favorite earrings. I hope this was helpful to anyone worried about buying a piercing gun. If you learned something new, please like the video and share. Never miss an update. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Ha 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 ha!